Hello all, let us talk about uh, uh, the DRAM memory further. Uh, so, uh, we in the previous video, we have seen um, a DDR3 memory from ISS side and we have seen how the bank organization, how the voltages and how the memory organization uh, is. So, we will talk further about uh, uh, details in, in the DDR3, the same chipset. So, the first thing which we have to talk when we are talking about DDR uh, uh, is uh, uh, or uh, the difference between uh, different DDR memories is the prefetch. So prefetch is nothing but uh, uh, basically you are <coughs> trying to read the data even before it is required. That means you are uh, reading the data and uh, keeping it in a buffer. Uh, so that uh, uh, you need not every time go uh, enable the row or a column and then access the data. So you read a bunch of data, place them in a buffer and uh, uh, read it uh, based on requirement. So that's how uh, a prefetch can be defined in short. So this prefetch is like uh, uh, is different between different DDRs. Uh, so starting from the DDR uh, which has a 2N prefetch, uh, the DDR2 has a 4N prefetch and DDR3 has 8N prefetch. What is meant by 8N is that if uh, uh, example we are trying to read a DDR memory, we access a row. So when we access a row, uh, uh, what uh, in DDR3 uh, the read access does is it prefetches the um, data words, uh, eight data words basically and uh, at the same time and then uh, it will be placed in a buffer. So that means we are increasing the, um, we, we are not basically increasing the clock frequency but we are increasing indirectly the uh, <coughs> IO frequency. So uh, this is nothing but uh, uh, a prefetch. So DDR3 basically supports uh, 8N prefetch. Uh, and this is very important uh, parameter which differentiates the uh, different DDRs. As we are talking about uh, read, uh, one more parameter <coughs> which a DDR uh, user must be uh, knowing is uh, uh, CAS latency. CAS latency is nothing but column address strobe latency. So just before going to this, uh, uh, we will talk a brief about uh, the DDR architecture. Uh, so <clears throat> as we discussed in the previous uh, uh, tutorial, uh, we have talked about the memory organization where you have uh, row address and the column address which are addressed by using uh, RAS and CAS. So <clears throat> internally we have something called uh, word line and bit line. So the bit line, which is nothing but the row address shall be enabled and then based on the column address that is provided, uh, the data bit shall be read, read. Um, data bit shall be read based on the charging of the capacitor. So that's how the internal organization of DDR is. Now, what happens is uh, there will be some delay uh, which is associated uh, with uh, by the time the data is available and you have issued a command to read some data. So this delay between uh, the time you have given uh, a read command to a chipset and then the data is available from the DDR. So this is called a column address strobe latency which introduces basically some delay in the read um, and uh, basic, uh, this uh, definitely uh, is a roadblock on the speed. So <clears throat> this column address strobe latency, uh, if you talk in terms of uh, nanoseconds, it will be around uh, uh, 5 nanoseconds to 10 nanoseconds uh, if you see the different chipsets. It, uh, but uh, uh, the, one of the uh, measure para measuring parameter is the uh, clock ticks. So the number of clock cycles is what shall be mentioned. That's why uh, example you see CAS6, CAS7 kind of uh, um, parameters. So we will talk about those parameters in later. And now <coughs> as we are talking about uh, a read latency, so now what happens is uh, uh, when you try to read <coughs> Uh, the data from the DDR, as we said, we provide uh, a, a, a row address and a column address basically and then there will be a latency associated with the column address as we said, which is called the column address uh, strobe latency and then 
before uh, a read uh, there will be some delay that will be associated um, um, like uh, uh, there will be an active command that will be provided to read the data so just before that we have to provide some delay so that uh, uh, everything will be in sync so such small delay which is introduced uh, between a read and write um, <coughs> is called additive latency so additive latency applies for both read as well as write cycles so now as we are talking about the read here um, the additive latency definitely is associated with the read the column address strobe uh, latency is associated with the uh, uh, read cycle so combined together the total read latency of a ddr3 chipset is nothing but uh, an addition of uh, additive latency plus column address strobe latency now we are talked about the uh, read uh, latency we talk about the write latency so write latency what happens during a write is that uh, you provide data on the ddr memory chipset and then this data that is present over the uh, data lines will be written into the chipset so uh, by uh, using the write command now the time when the data is available on the uh, um, data lines of the ddr and by the time a write issue is uh, uh, a write command is issued the difference between this is called the column address strobe write latency so again this is also measured in terms of clock ticks and as we said uh, during this write when the actual write happens uh, um, before this active command uh, there will be a small delay that will be given which is called the additive latency as we said so the um, <coughs> write latency uh, overall write latency of a ddr chipset is a addition of uh, additive latency plus uh, uh, column address strobe write latency so this uh, uh, so, so to summarize this uh, basically when you look at a data sheet of a ddr3 uh, definitely atn prefetch is internal organization uh, that is uh, we can say a property of uh, ddr3 <coughs> but uh, uh, we have to look at the data sheet uh, to select uh, the uh, uh, column address strobe uh, and uh, column address strobe write latency related parameters uh, basically uh, there will be registers called mr0 mr1 and mr2 uh, which will have these parameters uh, um, uh, and uh, uh, the the firmware engineers when we are uh, uh, trying to talk from a memory controller to a ddr they program these uh, um, mr registers uh, uh, to <coughs> come up with the latency so these are all timing related parameters which need to be adjusted uh, initially they do a preliminary um, calculation and then uh, update this latency um, once during the testing if they observe that uh, the latency need to be increased so that uh, there is a proper sync in communication between the controller and the ddr uh, these parameters shall be adjusted so very important parameters uh, and uh, we just wanted to go parameter by parameter so that uh, um, everything get doesn't get mixed and uh, importantly we are taking a data sheet uh, to help you understand each and every parameter uh, hope uh, you are clear about these parameters uh, please write to us if you have any questions uh, please uh, subscribe and like our channel thank you